Gone. Bonnie, will you take extra good care of Mr. Warman? Thank you so much. Bonnie is one of our culinary experts, and not to mention she's a chef, and she's awesome. Right now, though, it's cold brew time. Mm -hmm. You're going to brew your own coffee, and like a percolator, it's going to suck the water up over the coffee grounds and put it back in the 40 ounce carafe down below. Yes. And then you're going to serve it over ice, and then you're going to fill it with cream, milk. Maybe you'll top it with uh, whipped cream. Maybe you'll top the whipped cream with chocolate shavings. Yes, you will. <laughs> Maybe Lisa Brady is going to, oh, I don't know, make a good thing even more irresistible. <laughs> and you're going to see a really beautiful product. First of all, mm -hmm. this is Lisa Brady, the pretty Everybody. lady in florals. Good to have you back, <laughs> Thank you. Friend. Good to be here. Thanks, David. And this is something from our friends at Dash. Who's Dash? Yeah. So Dash is a company. We're U.S.-based, where we create product in New York City, yeah. and then we have a, a U.S.-based customer service center. But we're all about creating products that help you to eat unprocessed natural foods and drinks at home. So this is the perfect thing here, because now you can make all of your cold brew at home. You don't have to run out to your, you know, fast food store or your you right. know lots of bucks store to get your cold brew you can do it now at home in either 8 12 or 15 minutes super fun super easy now and, if you look at yeah. the front of the machine this has mm -hmm. different buttons one says mild mm -hmm. one says regular one says bold yep. these all take different times to brew depending on the strength exactly the so the mild is eight minutes and that's going to be kind of like a less concentrated um, you know still flavorful but less concentrated and then you have the the regular which is 12 minutes and that's more of a standard Standard flavor, and then the bold is going to take about 17 minutes, and that's a stronger, more concentrated flavor. But don't forget, we're also giving you 17 recipes, David. But I would love to walk you through exactly Please, how to do this. Okay, so this is the hopper up top here, right? So you can put this again. It's not that high, but super sleek and a really, really cool looking product. Sure. Um, cold brew machine. So here you're going to put your hopper right on top. Just lock it in. All right, push it down, and then you're going to put your coffee grounds right here. This is your coffee filter, right? So you're going to put your coffee filter. grounds. Sure. Yep, reusable. Just hand wash it when you're done. So you can put regular, you can put decaf, you can put loose tea, whatever oh, wow. you know you like. So that's what I love because you can customize it. Then you're going to put your filter right on top. It screws right on. See that? So screw it on. And now we're going to go over and we're just going to push it down inside. Push it down and then we're going to take the hopper lid and it's got little knobs on the side. Just lock it in and turn it. That's how simple and easy it is to load. Now you're going to go to the front and you're going to choose how long you want to brew and what's like, you know, whether you want mild, regular or bold. So here's what I did too. I want to just show you. I've already filled my borsilica glass carafe with my water. I'm going to just push it in. All right, make sure you hear that little click and you're going to see that start button. And this is regular button. tap water? Yeah, I just put regular tap water. Yep, no problem. And then I'm going to hit mild, for example. And you're going to see all the lights come on and then I'm going to hit start. Now, this is very similar to the old-fashioned percolators. Right. Because what happens is now it's going to draw all the water up from inside your borosilica craft, right? It's going to bring it up into the hopper and then it kind of spouts over inside doesn't make a mess or anything but it kind of like percolates and then it's going to bring the coffee down into your craft and when it's done you're going to have no more lights here it's going to automatically shut off and then you're going to know you're finished and you can uh, you don't even have to because it shuts off automatically when it's done you don't even have to turn it and off and then you take this carafe and you pour it over ice whatever yes, you're trying to do and yes. that is some of the best cold brew that you're ever going to taste whether it's regular mm -hmm. or excuse me mild Right. Regular or bold. Right. And and here's the thing about cold brew. What's beautiful about that is it's less acidic. It's less bitter because what we have is called vacuum press technology. Mm -hmm. We're not heating the grounds, which is super important. All right. Because you get that smooth, natural sweetness from the coffee. Or if you want to do like I like to do my ginger tea. Right. And I do my loose tea in there. And you can put this once you're done. You can put this in your refrigerator for seven days or a week. I mean, That's it great. probably won't last that long. But if you if you'd like to have have maybe a cup a day or something, you can do that. Because some people take their leftover coffee mm -hmm. and then they pour it over ice. And that's all fine, I guess. Yeah. But it's old. Because right? and you've also heated that. So it's going to be more acidic. It's going to be more bitter. And you know, I, at my age, it's like I don't need that for my tummy. I like to have it without yeah, all of that, you, you know, because it just is a, it feels better. But, is this tea? Yeah, so this is tea. So what we did is I did, you know, same thing. Now this is brewed earlier and I just put it in the fridge. And so I have perfectly brewed 
iced tea when I want it, but it hasn't been heated, right? So now, again, even with tea, it's less bitter, it's less acidic, it's more gentler and smoother. You can, you can taste the difference when you cold brew tea, oops, versus doing, you know, you know, your, your tea by and boiling the water. you can throw some lemonade in there and make an Arnold, oh, Arnold Palmer. You sure could, David. I love that idea. And don't forget, too, we're giving you uh, 17 recipes in the in the book, right? right? We have 17 recipes. And I love that we have, for example, martinis, apple teenies, right? Look at these ice pops, David. Aren't they just so adorable? And we're giving you that recipe. Those are iced mocha popsicles. And you know what this is? This is an espresso teeny. Yes, it is. And we're taking espresso fun. Mm -hmm. From moonshine, Love and we're it. cutting little pieces here. Oh, that's so And then rich we're going to skewer it nice and put it across the top of the glass oh i love it I why love because it. we're fancy and you know what that's what it is david you know we eat with our eyes we drink with our eyes why not make your presentation so pretty and beautiful just looking at it that you just go mm, yes that i need to try that there it is oh how decadent is and that and then Can if it imagine? melts a little bit into the espresso teeny that's fine mm -hmm. too yeah because yeah. that's just going to make it even more delightful yep, now what sure. are you making here okay so this is my cold brew oatmeal all right so all you're going to do is make this ahead of time the night before you put your cold brew coffee in because you've already made it then you're going to put your lid on and again this is old-fashioned oats cold brew i have the oatmeal and then you're just going to shake it right you shake it up and now you're going to put this in your refrigerator and the next morning you've got delicious cold brew oatmeal and it's, it's in the recipe book. It's refrigerator oatmeal. Yeah, you put this in the refrigerator. And it's really perfect. Yeah. Please don't miss out on this. Lisa Brady, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank this you for having us. This is delightful. Mm -hmm. And it's cold brew. It's yes. also espresso teenies. It's also Everything. Yep. coffee oatmeal. And we're, we're asking you, how do you unwind at the, you know, the it's end funny. of a long day? Well, and Rick Roman also <laughs> helped out on the board as we well. We both have alcohol in our unwind, unfortunately. Do but, you? But you can do virgin. I like an apple teeny, and I like to have it in CL at you the like beach. You like apple yes. martinis. I do. They're my favorite. At oh. the beach. At the beach in and CL. And Rick enjoys Pinot Noir by yeah. the fire pit. We're going to have to get together and do that together. I think that would be fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, David. Nice